guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're a newbie here, yeah, I am Rabia and in today's video we will be creating a simple, elegant, folk freckles look. Perfect for the summer, budget friendly. All products used in today's videos are bought at Bling. They are in Inuan City as well as Artery, one of my favorite stores to go to when picking up beauty supplies and the rest are all drugstore bought which can be found at this game as well as clicks. So if you're keen on checking out today's video and how I achieved this summer goddess look, continue watching. And if you're not yet part of our family, feel free to hit the subscribe button before continuing watching this video. Until then, let's get into it. I felt like doing a bit something on the natural side. Um, I have been doing like bold looks brightly pigmented pigmented looks lately so I thought let me just do something neutral everyday look I haven't updated my everyday go-to look as yet so first off you're gonna start off with the skin I'm using my Avian mask this is a um, thermal spring water and I'm just gonna be playing my face slightly I like the kind of like this gentle mist skin has been dry lately and then the brows I've done off camera ready and I use the Julienne brow stencils it makes it so much easier guys like they kind of look like twins I can never get them the same next for moisture I'm going in with my Bioderma Pigment Bio this is from the Pigment Bio range it's a daily care and it has SPF 50 in it it's a moisturizer I just love it use it as a primer as it keeps the skin nice and hydrated underneath the foundation and it leaves the skin with this natural dewy finish underneath the eyes and on the five head so today I'm going to be doing a neutral brown I love doing brown looks in the last of that down from the skin. I'm going to be using my Slays for Days palette by Switch Beauty. It is a bit dirty and I just love the shades. As you can see, this is my favorite palette. Dug into this palette so many times. And I'm going in with the shade Namuzi as it is fairly neutral. And I'm going to be starting off the eye with that. You can of course conceal your lid before starting this process but like I said I just did my brows off cam and what I did instead of using the concealer I used the foundation which I actually use on my face. I use that just to cut up the brows and then the remainder of the product I brought down to my lid. So my lid is kind of evened out in color but of course if you're wanting to take it a step further and really want those colors to pop you can of course use a concealer just to lighten that lid as you can see this color is fairly neutral it's the but it's not the <laughs> you really get what i mean and then going in on the other side hi baby <laughs> going in on yes my neighbor's kid <laughs> he's coming around to ask if they can have play time today remainder product over the eye and then I feel that I'm gonna go in with Sophia Sophia is quite light so I think I'm gonna use Chelsea Chelsea's got this brown but it has like a slight orange undertone to it and I'm just gonna be placing that over the rest of my lid into the crease and then right across the lid a nice warm color but neutral the lighting just changes we have been so terrible we've been having heavy storms and I'm trying to adjust my lighting I have it in the white setting but it felt like it was a bit too white and it just changes the color of the actual makeup that I'm using in my tutorials I want you guys to see the true color
my lights coming and going. <laughs> I just added my little tape markers, these normal salad tape. You can, of course, use any tape that you're wanting to use. And then my um, angle brush. And I'm gonna think I'm gonna go in with the shade Tante as it is fairly dark. And we're wanting to see that wing. Try and do this. Wait, it's the mirror. So we're using everything out of the same palette today. So just starting with the eye out the corners. Good, you're really bringing it up. Because I'm wanting that cat eye look. And then some at the lower lash line. Just for a subtle darkness to this look is not as dark as I wanted to be but like I said I wanted to be a bit subtle I think I'm gonna mix that with Bella Bella is the black shade in this pack to kind of enhance the darkness of the that little powdered wing I am not great at doing wings, but nothing wrong in trying, eh? it looks like that's all we're going to be doing for the eyes next i'm going in with my mascara this is by essence lash princess in the false lash effect just gonna add some of that to my top lashes of course at this point you can add your falsies if you are into falsies but i just feel that this mascara is so good on its own affordable drugstore but really worth the purchase. For the skin I'm going in with my Wet and Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is a medium to full coverage. It is buildable and I am in the shade Photo Focus. So we're just gonna get that skin even toned before actually starting the chiseling and the highlights in. And then going in with my Beauty Blender. Nice and damp from Solvay, trying to stay away from the brows and messing up my edges at the same time. <laughs> so we're just evening out that skin color, trying to keep that foundation as far, as far away as possible from that little wing we just did there. We're going to clean it up with some concealer. And of course, to make the eyes appear to be more awake, rejuvenated, refreshed. Gently patting that foundation in. Here you guys can see that little glow underneath the foundation. That is, of course, that little moisturizer applied by Bioderma for doing the foundation. And of course, that spring water that I placed on my skin. That extra hydration. Next, I'm going in with my smudge, and this is the Perfecting Concealer in the shade Ivory, 
and we're going to be placing some of that just slightly underneath the eye and then of course working that underneath where we placed that little wing I'm going to be doing my eyes first as this concealer does dry up quite quickly so I'm wanting to really get that into the skin before it dries out which just makes blending so much more difficult to that little line just to clean it up but also wanting to dab that into the skin and I'm going to sit with my LA Girl Pro Conceal or Pro Seating Powder in the shade Banana Yellow you guys know if you're older on this channel you know that that is one of my favorite setting powders I am nearly out of it so we'll be sure to replace that soon so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the little sponge that comes in this little concealer or powder tub and then placing some of that powders underneath the eye just slightly as I'm not winding a full on face beat as it is a natural as possible looking face beat and while that sits I'm going to be placing some concealer down the bridge of my nose just for a kind of highlight not too much though slight little highlight and then blending that in with that same sponge again and then working some of that product just slightly above the brow because I'm not wanting to highlight the forehead blending it in while I'm letting the powders sit I need to set my nose as well while well, letting that powder sit, I'm going to begin with my contour. And for contour, I'm going to be using my foundation by Yardley. This is in the Stay Far Strange. It has SPF 20 in it, and I'm in the shade Mocha. It is a few shades darker than my natural skin tone. So I'm going to be using this as a contour instead of using concealer. You can, of course, use a concealer which is two to three shades darker than your own skin just to do your contour for the contour we're wanting to chisel out our focal points and highlight certain features of the skin so I like to kind of create shadows around my forehead so that it does appear shorter and as you can see I'm rocking an updo today which exposes the forehead pick up some more of and then I'm going to be placing some slightly above my cheekbones and then working it to my temples which appears a bit more natural I like to dab on my jawline so make the jaw appear more cut and then using a little fluffy brush I'm just gonna brush away the powders as I feel that we've baked long enough I'm not wanting it to be too highlighted sweeping that away and then going in with my flat concealer brush, this one I purchased at Bling for Ken Rand. Picking up some of it, same foundation. And we're going to do a slight chiseling out of the nose. Just applying some of that to the brush. Part of my nose, 
and then blending that out with my beauty blender I actually need to get it another brush to blend out my nose when doing the contour managed to get some of that darker concealer in the center of my brows so that is it for my foundation i am going to be setting my face and then we'll be starting with the powder contour as well as our highlight and lip so now we're gonna go in and bronze this baby up as i feel that i need to add some more color to my skin so i'm going in with my cheapy bronzer this i purchased at bling for five rand and my angled kabuki brush also purchased at bling i think it was 29 rand if i'm not mistaken um this is this was from the bling in in one city I think there's one in Ottery as well, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just adding some bronzer to the spots where I contoured. Just to add some tan to my face as it feels as if um, when baking and putting a foundation on, it gives you like this white kind of a look. So going over lightly over that same spot where I placed that foundation the darker foundation for my contour and then just kind of bristling that in trying to use so many mirrors so that I can angle this properly and then lightly picking up some of that bronzer and then going down my nose where I place that contour on um, foundation for contour as well and then just blurring it out slightly with my nose so we don't have any harsh lines we can of course clean it up with some powders so that is it for bronzing for blush i'm going to be going in with another cheap palette which was purchased at bling as well it's got two different colors so i'm wanting to add some blush look as i'm going to be creating some fake freckles which has become a favorite for me so I'm going to be enhancing my natural freckles as well as adding some more. So I'm just using a blush, blush brush. I can never say those two words together. And I'm going to be mixing those two colors. I prefer the peachy blush. So I'm putting some over the bridge of my nose. Just to create a natural tan. And then over my cheeks. Lightly. my finger as I can see some lines over there and down my nose as well to give us that little fake flushed look and then for freckles I'm going to be using the actual stick from my liquid eyeliner I cleaned that off and because I am brown hair I would say <laughs> I'm going in with my essence make me brown mascara and I'm going to be using that just to create some fake freckles the reason why I'm using this it is a sharp little spongy tip which just makes the application not only easier but it looks more natural I'm just going to go lightly dotting that over my freckles <laughs> the freckles that are there and then blurring it out with my fingertips, giving a kind of a Instagram-y filter <laughs> of fake freckles. So I add a few small ones, a few big ones, just to make it look a bit more natural. This part is, of course, optional. So I think I want to do some on my nose. And then just slightly dabbing it with your finger so it really gets into that foundation. Makes it look a bit more natural, you know? 
I mean, I'm all about natural. <laughs> I think I've got too much on there. a bit enough in the lighting keeps changing as we like the sun is back out now and it feels as if I need to shut my ring light off and maybe drop it again I just don't like the lighting being off as I want you guys to see the true color of the makeup that I'm applying and the true finish of it don't come at me for my nails I haven't done my nails in such a long time since this coronavirus heat, I just I've been keeping mine and the kids' nails super short, as we are. We have got this germ phobia going on, so we're constantly sanitizing and sanitizing tabletops and everything. And long finger nails is a no go. And you guys know that I love my place on nails. I'm here to do a tutorial as to how I do my own nails, but. I will be doing one anytime soon as I am keeping them short. So next we're going to be getting into the highlight segment of this video as well as the lippy. So yeah, let's get into it. Now for the favorite part of all my tutorials is the highlighting and lippy um, segment of the tutorial. I've just gone in with my smudge, if I can find it. My smudge pencil, this is um, a brow as well as an eyeliner, it's in the shade brown. I said I want it to be too harsh, I added a brown pencil to it and I like my freckles guys. <laughs> Next I'm going to be using my Saltone Tissue Oil, as you guys know I like a liquid highlight or like a, just a glossy do we finish to my makeup looks. So the trick that I use is placing some of that tissue oil just to certain spots that I want to be glowy and dewy. To my nose, just bring it in, and then some to just slightly above my brows. So we're wanting a nice glowy, dewy, summery look, and then picking up my Switch Beauty Glowgasm palette. I love it. It's one of my favorite highlighting palettes. It comes in six different shades, and today I think I'm going to be going in with. A mixture of rosé. Oh, I think I'm gonna do rosé. Rosé is a slightly brownish highlight, but it's got like this warm, reddish, burgundy undertone to it. And if I can find my fan brush, yes, I did. And then I'm gonna be placing some of that just over the spots where I placed that. Just blending it out. It's got like this rose gold kind of a shimmer to it which i love i think it'll go perfect with today's brownie look and so just to the tip of the nose as we're wanting a nice flushed highlighted goddessy glow highlight and then of course to the five head we replaced that tissue oil Just add anything lightly so they can blend in with this skin. That so looks natural. So nice and glowing, it's there, but it's not really there. And then just trying to blotch that out on my nose and then adding that excess to the inner corner of my eye as we're wanting a nice little blue and then just slightly above the lip. I always overdo it when it comes to highlight as I just love highlight and then I think I'm gonna go in with a slightly lighter color in champagne showers just to add that above my brow so I'm just lightly brushing that over so it can have some of some sort of a glow so I'm adding that at the arch of my brow just below that and then dabbing that in just with some extra sparkle on the skin and then next for lips, I'm going to be picking up my Yardley um, Stay Fast Lipstick. But before I do that, I'm going to use my cheapy little lip liner, which I purchased at Blink for five rand. And this is kind of like a neutral shade. 
So I need to neaten out the lip and I like to just enhance that little cupid bow to make it like more triangular. And then I like to place the liners on the outer lining of my lip, but then also slightly drag it slightly above that. And then over that, I'm going to use my Yardley Lip Stay Fast lipstick, and this is in the shade Nude. That's what it looks like. I received this from them a while back, but it's still one of my favorite lipsticks. So one thing, something nude. This has like a slightly pink vibe going on. And because this is a dewy look, I'm not wanting a matte lip or a matte finish. I'm going to be using my Bling lip gloss. And this is in the show, it's clear. Clear aloe lip gloss. Purchase it for 80 rand. A trend and I'm just gonna be dabbing some slightly on the inner corner inner parts of my lips and just working that down so that is what this summer goddess more natural looking face beat I have been just using browns on my eyes as I love my browns but I just feel that it's Simple makeup in the summertime, it's like my go-to. But yeah, this is what the final look looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making this video for you guys. If there's anything you're wanting to see on my channel, let me know in that comment section down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please feel free to do so by hitting that subscribe button. And of course, turning on your notification bells that way you will get a notification whenever I post. But yeah, thank you for tuning in. Until next time.